Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and my voice is almost gone because of what just went down at the WWE Royal Rumble 2020. We didn't get CM Punk returning, but we did got the Rated R Superstar returning from injury after having to retire almost a decade ago. So we're gonna be talking about that, the winners of the Royal Rumble, everything that went down at the event, the good and the bad, a couple of more returns and surprises that we got, and a breaking news report indicating that Brock Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle got into a backstage altercation prior to the Royal Rumble match. And it's not part of storyline, so it's real. Before we get into it, you guys already know, make sure to elbow drop it, or better yet, spear the like button, and of course, stick around by hitting that subscription button to never miss any more of my pro wrestling coverage. From news, or rumors, reports, and review just like tonight. Anyways, let's get into it, and we gotta talk about the main event, right? Which was the men's Royal Rumble match, and Drew McIntyre picked up the victory. If you guys watched my full prediction video early on today, then you know what I said. I said that if it was up to me, if I was booking the Royal Rumble, I will have Drew McIntyre win it. He will be my number one. And that is exactly what happened. And it made all the sense because he had a massive amount of momentum heading into this match. On top of that, he was the one to eliminate Brock Lesnar after Ricochet ended up hitting him with a low blow, causing the distraction for Drew to hit a claymore kick and take Brock out but of course that wasn't the only highlight of this awesome rumble it all started off with Brock Lesnar of course eliminating the first 13 men in the match by himself including Braun Strowman and a surprise entrant of Keith Lee from NXT the best sequence that we got though was when Kofi Kingston Biggie and Rey Mysterio came out Kofi and Rey Mysterio weren't doing so well going one-on-one -on -one against Brock so they decided to team up with Biggie and they all did amazing sequence a Big E hitting the big ending, Kofi Kingston connecting with Trouble in Paradise, then Rey Mysterio connecting with a 619, but it didn't matter at the end because Brock ended up eliminating them. Then as we mentioned, the streak ended with Ricochet at number 15 and Drew McIntyre number 16. Ricochet kicked Lesnar in the balls just like Lesnar did to him on Raw last week. So Drew McIntyre took advantage and hit a Claymore kick to finally eliminate Brock Lesnar. Drew McIntyre got a massive pop for all of this. Other surprise entrants were former United States Champion MVP and then of course Edge who ended up having a massive showing. So even though he didn't win it, he was looking good. Teaming up with Randy Orton to reunite Raider RKO, getting some elimination and then finally Randy Orton almost turned on him and tried to eliminate him but Edge said hell no I've been in this industry for too long so he faked a teaming up again and then eliminated randy the final five were seth rollins in the ring alone against roman reigns randy orton drew mcintyre and edge rollins was hit with almost everyone's finisher and then gets eliminated edge eliminates randy orton and reigns was able to eliminate edge right after that a bit of an odd booking here because roman reigns is supposed to be the quote-unquote biggest baby face of the company but then he is the one that eliminates edge so of course the crowd wasn't happy about it in the end though mcintyre countered a spear by roman reigns with a claymore kick then eliminated roman reigns to win the match he is now of course gonna go to wrestlemania to face for the wwe championship or the universal championship more likely the wwe championship since his storyline with brock lesnar is pretty much already written but that was the main event let's go ahead and go back to the beginning of the show to kick off the night in the kickoff show we got sheamus defeating Shorty G with a bro kick and United States Champion Andrade defeated Humberto Carrillo. These two matches were a bit predictable but they weren't even the worst one of the night because that award goes to another match that we're going to discuss in a bit. Then to start off the official main card of the Royal Rumble we got the false count anywhere match Roman Reigns defeating King Corbin. Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode and the Usos of course all got involved in this match that traveled around the stadium. In the end Roman Reigns hit a speed on Baron Corbin on the top of the Houston Astros dugout to win the match. Fairly good match and it delivered because they went around the arena and gave us something a little bit different. After this we got Charlotte Flair winning the Women's Royal Rumble match. Surprise entrance for this match included Mighty Molly, Beth Phoenix who ended up looking dominant all throughout, Kelly Kelly and a returning Naomi as well as a bunch of NXT talent like Mercedes Martinez, Bianca Belair who got the most elimination of the night. It's clear that WWE has massive plans for her. Candice LeRae, Mia Yim, Chelsea
Chelsea Green, Tony Storm, and others. Later on in the match, towards the middle though, we got Otis from Heavy Machinery getting involved in the match, helping Mandy Rose avoid elimination twice before getting knocked down. This was certainly one of the good moments of the match. Santina Morella was a surprise number 29. She got some awesome interaction with Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Even brought out the Cobra, which Beth Phoenix wasn't having none of it. In the end, Santino just decided to eliminate himself. Definitely one of the silliest but best moments of the night. Shayna Baszler was also a surprise entrant at number 30 and eliminated a bunch of superstars that were already there. The match came down to Beth Phoenix, Shayna Baszler, and Charlotte Flair. Crazy, right? Beth Phoenix and Edge literally just had one of their best nights together on the same WWE ring. In the end, we had Shayna Baszler eliminating Beth Phoenix, and then out of nowhere, Charlotte Flair, who literally spent like 50% of the whole match just laying around outside of the ring, she gets some interaction with Shayna Baszler and eliminates her to win the match. So no Ronda Rousey and my prediction of Shayna Baszler winning the Rumble, unfortunately didn't come true, but there were some good moments in this match. And I gotta say, back to Beth Phoenix, she got busted open somewhere in the back of her head or something, and she continued the match like a boss, like if nothing was happening. They definitely gotta plan something for her at WrestleMania this year, cause that was an awesome performance. Clearly she been training with Edge to just get back into ring shape, and that's exactly what they've been doing. After this, we got the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Bayley taking on Lacey Evans. Bayley got her knees up to block a moonsault, then pinned Lacey Evans out of nowhere with a handful of tights to win the match. This match was certainly not as great, and unfortunately it was the biggest thumbs down of the night. The flaw of it just felt off when compared to any other match. Strap match for the Universal Championship, we got The Fiend Bray Wyatt defeating Daniel Bryan. The red light for Bray Wyatt matches is officially gone, which is a great thing. So that automatically made this match two stars better. Bryan wrestled a competitive match and got a few two counts and almost made us believe that it, maybe he was gonna win the Universal Championship and defeat The Fiend. But in the end, The Fiend just kept getting up, no sold all of the strap attacks and ended up hitting Daniel Bryan with a mendable claw to win the match. Last I checked, there was no painful on strap matches, so maybe WWE just changed that rule recently, which I wouldn't be surprised because it's the WWE. And then up next, we got the Raw Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch defeating Asuka. Towards the end of this match, we had Becky Lynch kicking Asuka in the stomach to block the green mist that she was about to apply. This caused Asuka to look and spray it up and spray herself with her own green mist. Quickly after that, she made Asuka tap out to the disarmor to retain her championship. And last but not least, as I discussed, we got Drew McIntyre winning the Men's Royal Rumble match. So that is what went down at the WWE Royal Rumble 2020 event but as I mentioned at the beginning of this video there are some breaking news that we need to talk about as multiple reports are indicating that Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle got into a backstage a verbal altercation prior to the Royal Rumble pay-per-view pro wrestling she reports the following on the situation sources indicate that Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle passed each other while walking backstage and a tense encounter ended up happening one source says that Brock Lesnar sought Matt Riddle and wanting him to know the reality of the situation between the two of them. According to three sources, the encounter was real and not something for the show. As we reported before, this is similar to the Goldberg situation. Matt Riddle had an awkward interaction with Goldberg last year at SummerSlam after criticizing the WWE Hall of Famer on social media. The footage of this was later aired during a WWE Network special. Back to the Brock Lesnar situation, as you guys know, Matt Riddle has openly talked for years, even before he came to the WWE, about how he wants to retire Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. But the two superstars had never met until today during the Royal Rumble week, or at least interacted until today. It looks like Brock Lesnar doesn't want Matt Riddle running around saying that he wants to retire Brock, probably because Brock knows that he's not going anywhere anytime soon, so he don't want people to be thinking that. Pro Wrestling, she also indicated that they reached out to additional sources 
that also confirmed the backstage altercation, but they did stated that nothing got physical between the two of them. Certainly a developing story and I will keep you guys updated on it. I'm sure we'll hear about it more as we get into the week. But all of this might also explain why we didn't get something that we've been asking for and that is Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar to get in face to face with each other at the Royal Rumble match. Matt Riddle only made an entrance after Brock Lesnar was eliminated and he got a big pop but he didn't really do much. He got eliminated by King Corvin. So maybe Brock didn't want anything to do with Matt Riddle tonight. Anyways guys that is it for this video rounding up everything that went down at the Royal Rumble and the latest massive backstage news. If you guys enjoyed or found it informative don't forget to elbow drop it and as always stick around for more update hit those notifications join up because we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. I'll see you on the next one so stay savage.